Welcome back. Good to have your company on this Sunday, Father's Day. Now, they're desperate to give Aussie children a stable home, but a new report has revealed that prospective adoptive parents are being turned away because they're too fat. It seems the losers in all of this are the vulnerable children who are being shifted from one foster home to another. Well, let's put this to our Sunday jury we have here with us from Shell Shock Meter, Shelley Horton. Good morning Hello. to you. And Brendan Jones from WSFM. Morning, Brendan. Hello, Charles. Shelley, Deb. we'll start with you. Oh, I'm furious at this. Go. Furious. The thing is, most doctors are now phasing out BMI because it is so flawed. So BMI is basically your weight divided by your height and if you are muscly, you can actually be put into the overweight zone. So it is such a flawed system. And we only had 196 children adopted last year. 30,000 are looking for homes. There are so many amazing people who want to be parents, who are desperate to be parents, and they're being stopped by stupid rules like this. I think it needs a complete overhaul. I'm sick of it. Do you think that there is any benefit at all in obviously the, the basis of this is that the foster system wants to ensure that mm. the parents who are taking on the adoptive kids are going to be living long and healthy lives yeah. that's the fundamental well, you, want, you want a healthy healthy parents definitely but yeah that's too like my bmi i'm, I'm overweight like i know really? I, I have great musculature <laughs> <laughs> i know you're a uh, string bean I actually see here you know, i feel this it's like you know Oh, oh. You're tight like but, a tiger. But I, <laughs> is, is that true, though? Is that true? Your BMI has yeah, I'm overweight. overweight. According to wow. at 81 kilos, I'm overweight for my height. For your height. Mm. Yeah, it's so, so flawed. The BMI, it's so ridiculous. I couldn't adopt a kid. I mean, I, I was chatting to my friend, you know, Luke Rickardson, when he was at the peak of playing football, he his BMI said he was overweight. I most, mean, it's most just the ridiculous. Are. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. We are in We've agreement that one. on the Sunday. Yes. Yes. That on that done. one. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Now, let's see how we go with this one. There is always someone who ruins it for everyone in various situations, but bargain shoppers were left absolutely dumbfounded after a full on brawl broke out at Aldi over discounted outdoor furniture. I mean, Aldi furniture and their sales are pretty damn fine, I've got to say, but this is just OTT, isn't it, Jonesy? Mm, that's crazy. Would you go nuts for Aldi furniture like that? I, I would. You I probably would. would. <laughs> I, would. Yeah. You know, I was in one of those families. But I go to Aldi when I'm bored sometimes just to have a look because, you know, it, it, the, the, the diversity of stuff, they sell motorcycle They've got a whole <laughs> range of stuff. Like, Ski gear Ski is always is a really big, big sale. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. But what they do do, Aldi, is they'll put one set of, they'll have one discount lounge for the whole of Australia so everyone just piles on the lounge. But these people look bad because there was a bunch of lounges at the back. I so know. imagine that you're having a big punch on about the lounge and the guy goes, oh, you've got about 20 out I the back. Know. And that's oh. what happened, though, because people were stepping around this situation and going out the back to, to get, get the other ones lounge. that were out there. So, you oh, know. look, it's just, it looks dreadful for those families. I mean, that is not the way you solve an issue. And it's a freaking lounge, people. But like, sale, come time, on. sale time, sale yeah, time. No, it's just the boxing ridiculous. Day feel to it, yeah. They yeah. need to have bought that motorcycle helmet before they go <laughs> in and have a punch. John. Yeah. Um, but that's the thing about Aldi. Like, you go in there and go, I'm going to get a loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a chainsaw. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just a little bit of a mental place to go into, yeah. I think. They've got mm. the range of, yeah, enormous, amazing mm. range Amazing stuff. range. Are you working for Aldi? I know. <laughs> it sounds like I that, know. I do. They've got but such a diverse range. I just love a bargain. That's my <laughs> problem. The other question, how do you claim a lounge? They're so big. Yeah. You just have to be on it. It's yeah. like piles of Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's mine. Stacks on. Get the family on. The family's yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> We're agreeance again. Now, up next, sick of being jipped by stingy mates when it comes to buying rounds at the pub? Well, our Sunday jury has a verdict on this one. Let's see if they agree, people. Well, welcome back. Now, a new survey of Shelley Dancers in the Corner has revealed that Aussie drinkers are fed up with drawing the short straw when it comes to shouting rounds of alcohol beverage. Get this, almost half of Australians think shouts are unfair and often result in them splashing more cash than they plan to. We're back on the Sunday Jury with WSFM's Brendan Jones and Shelley Horton from Shellshock Media. Hi. Let's get into this because it's one of those things that everyone does, but apparently half of us have a problem with. Shelley, do you ever get shortchanged by your mates? I've got to say, I think it is a bit unfair. Often I will have a cocktail, which could be 18, 20 bucks, and some of the blokes are just having a beer. I do feel a bit bad, but I don't buy them three beers to make up for it. So, so if someone's doing a round, you would say, yeah, get me a... Yeah, I'll have an appletini or... <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Really? Yep, no nice problem. one, Shelley. Yeah. Uh, that's the same as me. I'm always yeah. up for that. Yeah, you love it, the umbrella, don't you? I, I love the shout. The shout is great. And you know what? The shout fairy can go either way. I've been at things where people just keep buying me beer and I've hadn't had to shout. But then at other times, I remember I went to a lunch with some media people and <laughs> at the end of the lunch I paid $300 and all I ate was a dim sim and I drank a light beer. <laughs> So I'm thinking, yeah. how the hell did that happen? But it's the shout fairy, so it all comes around. You think so it all comes around? around. Comes. One thing that I have done was when I used to work as a crime reporter and we were all at the pub, you know, after a very long day, we just decided we'd all have scotch and coke. That way, if you're all having the same drink, Level it all evens out. That's such a crime reporter drink. <laughs> 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 They're not having apple no apple zinnies no on apple the no scene of crime. So if you ordered yeah. that with those, with that I would have been kicked out. Yeah, yeah exactly. for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a good solution. Yeah. Now, it is Father's Day, yes. and a very happy Father's Day to all the dads, to you, Jonesy, as well. Thank you. And Shelley, you've got a lovely oh, photograph as well. Oh, I love this photo. Well. Oh, this is Jonesy and his kids. Look at my dad. Oh, yeah. He's always been holding me up above his shoulders, but... How good is he? Look My dad him. is an absolute champion and I love him to bits. So, mwah, happy when Father's Day, Dad. When the entertainment at SeaWorld? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what did you get from your lovely uh, family? I got a text and, and, and that was that was about so it. So they're awake then. They're That's awake, good. my kids. But that was, yeah, they're, they're, they're good. Yeah. 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 As long as they're healthy, look at them there, see. What a, what a strapping family yeah, that is. Did you shout that drink, by the way? that round. Yeah, yeah. That was hard to buy those drinks. <laughs> well, have a good day. Thank you, Dad. Enjoy your day. Thank you. And for thank all the dads as well. Absolutely. Yes. Josie, Shelley, thank you so much. Thank Stay you. with us. We've got more of your Father's Day celebrations coming up after the break. Oh, chance that I'm